if you look at the sidewall of the link is the thickness over here about six and a half millimeter thick and slowly come in thinner cut out in the middle and there's a curve on the link and you also see this there's a curve here curve here and then how it's being connected is by a an allen screw a bar and it's truly functional so this is not a uh, what do you call it? like uh, clipping things so it stays with the concept of the millipede now instead of it sticks out with the screw it's recessed but slightly approximately i would say about a millimeter sticks out and then you can use a three over 32 332 allen wrench now you need two to size that i'm going to give you an example later on all right okay i'm going to give you an example how to size the bracelet okay either i was joking about it you need two of them by the way two allen screws i already took one out to show it to you uh, I was joking about earlier, you know what, maybe you can just go to Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store and just stand there and size your bracelet, right? All right, so let's go back to this. So while we're at the three o'clock position, so we have our Aragon logo screw down crown, 200 meters water resistance, solid first end link, I mean, sorry, solid deploying class fully decorated rotor okay with our aragon blue rotor i want to show you the case back first let me remove this don't know if you can see it look at this all right very 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 nicely made um i'm guessing without looking at my uh technical drawing uh it is approximately 14 six five 14 0.8 millimeter thick for the 50 millimeter okay the 44 millimeter is it could be slightly like a 0.15 thinner all right and then the screw down crown is 10 millimeter in diameter okay so i'm gonna i wear my i wear my uh, c charger i'm gonna take it off and i want to show it to you what it looks like on me now this watch is definitely anybody can wear okay even the 50 millimeter or the 44 now six and a half inch wrist i'm wearing the 50. you see because the design of the case and the bracelet if you're talking about you know the diameter of the case yes it's bigger than usual if you're used to wearing you know like 40 or 38 millimeter okay of course yeah this is way but if you're used to wearing anywhere from 42 to 50 millimeter and you don't mind the watches being larger on your wrist you can definitely wear it now i know a lot of people is going to argue like okay you know it's just like some people like to drive uh, what do you call it like the cadillac suv is like a giant car right or someone just like to drive the smart car right we don't need to go back and argue about any of that it's your preference what you like you know some people like to eat Hamburger. Some people like to eat pasta. You know, we've we've heard too way too many people talk about it's not a real watch because it's big. Okay, we don't need to hear that anymore. If you want to, uh, uh, you know, comments about that, you don't need to comment because it you it's what you like. Okay, so that's why we made two sizes, even forty four. You know, it's a wearable size. All right. So now, let me get in and show you. The GMT movement. So I go in, unscrew this. Now make sure every time after you adjust the day or your time or your GMT, you make sure you push and lock the crown. Now, how close can we get into this? I want you to see this. You see how the crown, there's a tube, okay? The crown tube recess when I do this, push in and turn. You can't see it. If you can see this real, real narrow gap, the thread is inside the case. Can you see that? I don't think so. So what I'm trying to tell you is, you, let's just say usually the crown tube with the thread goes into here. The way I designed this particular watch is, 
the crown, when I push in and lock, it recessed inside to the case. Okay, so that's that's unique in the Miller Peak design. Now, let me show you about the um, the movement, how to adjust the movement, the menu of the movement. So what we have our minute and second hand. Okay, it's a sweep second hand. So uh, if you're new to watches, the difference between one of the differences between uh, automatic and quartz is quartz is they take one second at a time. Most of them, most of them, because right now Seiko and other brands they also came out with what we call the mechanic quartz. So they make uh, the second hand to uh, take like four ticks or five ticks, like short ticks into one second, like very, very quick. Uh, we have our date, GNT. So to adjust the date, pull the crown up to the first click and you turn it counterclockwise, right? So remember, there's danger zone. Never adjust your date in the danger zone. So if you're not sure about that, you can look it up online. Uh, but let me tell you briefly is between, I would say between 11 to 6 a.m., okay? 11 to 6 a.m. Do not adjust your date just to be safe because you can break the spring and it's not covered under the warranty. Uh, <clears throat> and then you're gonna ask, how do you adjust the GNT hand? The same position, you turn it clockwise. Now, did you just see what I just did? Very clearly. It jumps one increment at a time. All right, now let me emphasize this very quickly. If you're familiar with the Wanda 515-24, okay, the quartz movement, every time you adjust the GMT, it's, it moves like this, right, smooth like this. And with this GMT, the mechanical one, it is the same way you adjust like the Swiss Atta 2893 or our latest Soprad C125, okay? So you can be precise with adjusting your time. Now, let me set it to 12 o'clock so I can give you an example. So you see, the hour and the minute hand when you read the time, you read based on 12, 12 hours, one rotation. So AM, PM, right? You see how that triangle is pointing at two? So the point I'm trying to say is, GMT is, you can do it, you can set it as a 24 hour hand, or you can set it as a second time zone. Now, let's say, um, let me define, yeah, okay, here. Let me go back and explain to you what I'm talking about. So let's say we are in New York, okay? We're actually with Miami or Deerfield Beach Program Town. So let's say 12 o'clock p.m., 12 p.m. Eastern time, okay? Uh, Los Angeles would be three hours behind us. It would be nine, 900, right? So let me show you, okay? I'm sharing with you about GMT first, okay? So you see Miami, 12, 12 p.m., Los Angeles, 900, all right? 9 a.m. or 900. So the way to read it is the GMT hands, you read the outer chapter ring. So you see 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay? So I'm gonna pretend fast forward. Miami is one o'clock and LA is 10, right? All right, so another benefit of the NX34 is, let me show you another thing is, what I like about, um, all right, let me just go to, let's just say I go to 130, right? And then I wanna pretend to adjust the time to Hawaii time, okay? All right, so let me go back. So Miami is 12 o'clock. You see how Hawaii is 11, right? Let's just say that. I. But do you remember when I was setting it? I was setting it at 1 or 12.30. And you see how the triangle hand is still pointing precisely at the hour versus the quartz. That the triangle hand 
will be all over the place. Not all over the place, but will not be precisely pointing at the hour. And you, you have to set it precisely yourself. If, if you're familiar with the Ronda 24, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so that's one part, right? So what I also want to show you how to set it as a second time zone, okay? Did I say it correctly? GMT, like second time zone. Or, oh, right, set it as a GMT, sorry. So you see this is right now, it's 12 o'clock, right? And I'm gonna set it at, this is 12 p.m., this is uh, 12 a.m., I wanna set it at the same thing. But turn it into calling it like uh, 1300 or, or 2400. So you see what I just did, 12 o'clock, and I set my triangle to 2400 because I know it is, oh, this is a.m., 2400, so let me go new. So this is 12 p.m. now. All right, so I wanna set it as the GMT. So here we go. So Miami time, this is Miami time, and I say 2 p.m. Miami time, right? 2 p.m. Miami time is also, we can call it 1400. So you see how useful this movement is? It could be a dual time zone, or it could be a, uh, you can set it as a second time zone where New York, Chicago, or Chicago, or Colorado, something like that. So you, you get my point. Okay, now let's go back and I will continue to talk about the collection. I talk about the design of the watch. I talk about the bracelet. I talk about the, you know, how to set the caliber. Uh, and at the end of it, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the bracelet. It's quite easy, but you have to be handy. You know, like not everybody's handy. And then you just go to a, uh, uh, a watch, you know, watch uh, repair shop to have them size it. So I came out with three colors first, okay? Not a lot of pieces, not a lot of pieces. Uh, I didn't produce them massively because we're a small company. I hope you understand that. Um, I'm the one and only Aragon watch designer. Unlike any other big companies, they probably buy designs from other designers or they copy other brands or they you know they have a lot of designers in shop so i'm the only one year round continue design watches and i only produce small quantities because we're a small company and i know there's a lot of people that are gonna, they're gonna make a lot of some a lot of positive comments and for the for the people they're gonna have to say something negative i mean you know, our brand may not be for you, okay? So we have a lot of great supporters. We have a lot of watch enthusiasts and collectors, Aragon or any other people that appreciate watchmaking and watch collecting. So we, we, we thank you for watching. Um, all right, so, so I've only designed with three color first, blue, okay? So Aragon blue. And then the next one is the piano black. Beautiful, okay? And then the last is our purple, Aragon purple. And then two sizes is in the 50 millimeter and the 44, and I'm gonna put on the 44, okay? And are we gonna produce more cut down colors and other, uh, other colors for the case and the brazen? You know what? It all depends on you. If you guys love this design, and this does really well, we will continue to grow this collection bigger and bigger. But the reason why I stay very, uh, we start small, how about that? Is I wanna see what your reaction is. And let me know your comments. All right, so this white glows green for the hour hand and the markers. And I'm wearing the 44, you see how it goes even better on my wrist, okay? Versus the 50, because I don't have a big big wrist. I mean, for guys like six feet tall or, or even taller or bigger than me, they, they would look really good with a big one, okay, with a 50 millimeter. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to size the brazen. Don't mind me to move all the watches around on the side because I need some space uh, to show you. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You see how we did this? 
we design the watch and our bracelet is per perpendicular. Okay, a lot of people have asked me like, why one side of the bracelet is longer than the other? It's because this is how I am. I'm very detailed. And let me explain to you is, you see how the case and the clasp is perpendicular to one another. Let's say if I, let's say if I keep nine links in the back and nine link, links in the front, 12, 6, 12, 12, 12, 12, the watch when you receive it will be like this, right? It'll be longer like this, but I did it on purpose. I've been doing this for over 20 years. All right, let me put it down. Now, you're gonna need two, two Allen wrench to do this, okay? And you can easily pick this up in a hardware store, all right? So the design of this is really smart too, okay? One side is a screw, one side is a bar that connects to the Allen screw. All right, I'm gonna begin. Uh, as you know, I'm getting old. My eyes are not as good as before, so don't mind me if I'm not performing as good as I should be. So you see how I did it? So I poke it in, I'm gonna start turning, all right? And I don't know which side is screw or which side is the bar. So I'm just gonna to continue to do it until it comes out. If you're familiar with our brand, oh, here we go, we did it. So you see this side, it's a screw that is fused with the uh, bar. And this side is the screw. Now, let me show you this. You see how thick it is? These are all solid stainless steel, by the way, except the tube is. You, but you have to, you also can notice is how thick the bar is. Now, when you turn for the first time, it will be a little bit tight. The reason why is we put the Loctite glue. Okay, the Loctite blue. All right, now let me show you the bracelet. Let me take these, you know, put this on the side. So you do the same thing, vice versa. And then you would just take the next one, take it out. And then I also want to point it out to you is, now this is very important, okay? Do not overturn. When it's tight, you stop. That's all you need to do. All right, so now let me point it out to you. With the link, one size for the bar, one size for the screw. Can you see the difference? This side is for the bar. Okay, and then you wiggle to get in, okay? And this side is for the screw. So even if you want to, okay, oh, maybe you can then. Because I was, yeah, you're right. Because I was trying it earlier, I wasn't able to do it. So let's put it back together then. All right, so I'm gonna try to, no, right. You can in, you can in, I'm correct. You can insert the screw like this on both sides, but because, oh, you can. So let's try it. So I'm gonna, so you wiggle it, you wiggle it. All right, so you see how it's flat now? And then, I'm gonna turn around and I will do this to make it easier because for me, it's easy that way. All right, so I'll just poke it up. And make sure it goes in. All right, remember, before you turn it in is counterclockwise and clockwise. So you don't uh, strip the, the thread, right? So I will do this here. I'm not as good as I used to. When I used to be younger, I can see. Now I'm just guessing. All right, here we go. Look at how easy it is. If you if you can't do it, please take it to a watchmaker. If you can do it, do it yourself. All you need is two Allen wrench. And the size is, if I'm reading it correctly, is 332. Okay, two of these. You will save yourself a lot of money. I, the last time I talk, talked to one of the watch enthusiasts, he said he takes this out uh, for sizing and the guy charged him $30. I thought it was a little bit expensive. All right, a little bit expensive. But anyway, uh, if you can do it yourself, you save a lot of money. All right, so 
let me emphasize this again. Um, for the first time you do it, it's going to be a little bit tight because we put the Loctite blue, not the Loctite green. Loctite green is completely locked and glued, and you cannot um, adjust them. Um, but the Loctite blue is the first time. Once you break break it open, it will you'll be able to do it. Um, anything else I can share with you is if we co go closely, let me move it away. I don't know which dial color you're going to choose. Uh, these are all very good colors, okay? Black, you know, if you don't like purple or blue, you can get the black. And if you don't like the, you, if you have a lot of black washes or blue washes, go get the purple. Now, um, here, let me move the, the GMT hand away so we can go look at the micro imprint. So you can see GMT automatic. Okay, water resistant 200 meters. And then you can see Japan Movement, Aragon brand over there. So the chapter ring, remember, the triangle hand, one full revolution is 24 hours. The hour hand is 12 hours. Because we've had customers in the past, they said, this is defective. Why is it only turning, you know, not, uh, not, you know, uh, two revolutions for one day. So, all right, um, I think I, gave a quite a detailed explanation. I hope you enjoyed the video. And at the end of this, please stay with us for another five to 10 seconds. We're gonna show you the Loom shot video. Um, and um, I hope you like this collection because I really, really, really do. And I hope this will become one of your, um, you know, one of your stable in your collection because this is gonna, you know, the, uh, the millipede after 10, 15 years, finally, a spin-off from the Millipede collection. And the original, let me emphasize this again, the original Millipede will continue in production, but we've got we will continue to upgrade the material, you know, change the change uh, you know evolution, okay, or 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 you know new colors or new dial. This is the new spin-off. This is the new EVO of the Millipede. All right. Have a good day and see you next time. And big, oh, by the way, help us out. You know, follow our channel on YouTube. You know, give us likes. Uh, you know, make some comments. Tell us what you like, how you like this. What is your favorite color? Um, and I do read all the comments below. And all right, see you next time.